Hey you guys, Game Boy 3300 here once again. And today I'm going to show you how to upgrade your memory in an Alienware M14X R2. I'm pretty sure the R3 and R4 are the same, but I'm not 100% sure, so I'm just going to label this R2. I currently have... Six gigabytes of memory installed. We're going to be upgrading that to 16. So first of all, I'm just going to shut everything down. Wait for that to do its thing. I'm going to move around here a little bit. And just in time. Now we flip it over. There's two screws you want to undo. Hmm. I'm sorry to screw it, my bad. Hang on. Sorry, my bad there. You're going to want to do the same and make sure you have the right screw bit. Again, there's two screws you want to undo right up in the corners here. Just unscrew them until they start clicking. They are spring loaded so they won't be coming all the way out. Once you got that done, you should be able to pull the shield back and expose everything beneath. I do need to clean this fan out. I will do that maybe in another video, but that does require 100% disassembly, so probably not. To get to the memory, you get to the upper shield over here. It will be the bottom right shield. Well, really, you could see it's the bottom left, but, yep. There are three screws you want to undo. I bet only two. Let's screw this one back in. Now the memory card is, you'll see it right here. In my case, this one is a two gigabyte card. And for the other card, it is a 4 gigabyte card. I have two new memory cards right here. Here's the other one. Just trying to get them out of the packet. Alright, so we take the first memory card, this is an 8 gigabyte card, and as will the next card be. Should pop into place if you have the correct memory socket. If you don't, then the little pin will not align all the way up, and you will be in a little heap of trouble on your own. 
Here's the second card. I'm going to put that into the top socket. Press them both down, make sure they're good and tight. I'm going to get these two other cards out of the way. Now it's time to simply reassemble your unit. Slide it back into place and screw the screw right back in. Not too tight, you don't want to strip them. For should you need to open this unit again, you will want to make sure you have them tight but not stripped. And now we're going to check and see if the Cars were recognized. First time testing this unit, so it's an experience for all of us. It certainly booted faster and it's starting windows. Now I have a ton of programs on here so it kind of takes forever to boot. Like give it a few minutes. I don't know what this string is for but I suddenly find this string extremely interesting while waiting for something like this to completely load up. As a matter of fact I will get right back to you as soon as it's done. Okay we are back. You can see the tripod under reflection of the screen and we have some action. Huzzah! And here's Sonic. Again, it certainly seemed to take less time. Adobe Flash Player update. Every time you reboot the friggin' computer, it wants to update. Now let's just wait for my extensions to load up and we'll see if it actually does recognize as now 16 gigabytes. Yes, it is recognizing it as 16 gigabytes of usable memory. So there you have it. I hope this video was informal somewhat and that um, you keep gaming on. Thanks, Gamboy out.